Welcome to Living in New Hampshire with Karina and Freddie, Lake Winnipesaukee edition. Today's episode, things you should know before you move to Meredith, New Hampshire, coming up. And welcome back. We are the Cisneros Realty Group powered by EXP Realty. We cover the beautiful New Hampshire lakes region and mountains surrounding Lake Winnipesaukee. My name is Karina Cisneros, Associate Broker, and this is my son, Freddie, Realtor and Managing Partner of the Cisneros Realty Group. Welcome. We are lakes region experts with a proven track record of success. We have represented over 600 families transitioning homes over the last seven years. Whether you're looking to sell in the lakes region or looking to buy that perfect lake home or condominium, look no further. Karina and I are ready to advise, counsel, and assist you. On this channel, we'll show you everything there is to know about the lakes regions by boat, plane, or any other mode of transportation. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our future videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. So let's get started. Whether you're choosing Meredith as a permanent or second home residence on Lake Winnipesaukee, you will enjoy one of the finest and nicest towns on the lake. Meredith is a quaint little town located in Belknap County on Lake Winnipesaukee at the intersection of routes three and 25. Meredith is a walking town with several restaurants, gift shops, beaches, and plenty of access to the lake. So let's review the things new residents should know when moving to Meredith, New Hampshire. All right, Fred, so let's go over some Meredith stats. Yes, so Meredith is located in Belknap County. The real estate taxes in Meredith are roughly about 1402 per thousand, which means if you buy uh, a $500,000 home, your taxes will be roughly $7,000 divided into two uh, semi-annual payments of around 3,500 or 3,500. Population in 2019 was reported to be around 6,400. And the nearest uh, ski area to Meredith is Gunstock in Guilford. So Karina, what can you tell us about Meredith home prices? So Meredith home prices, let's see. The medium home price in Meredith over the last six months has been about $495,000 making it the highest priced town on Lake Winnipesaukee. Uh, per the multiple listing service, over the last 12 months, 140 single family homes and 18 condominiums changed hands, making Meredith one of the most competitive markets around the lake, Fred. Wow, that's very good to know. Yeah, very competitive. So if you are looking to buy in Meredith, you gotta plan ahead. Absolutely. Another thing you should know about Meredith is that you have the Lakes Region General Hospital in Laconia, only about 15 minutes away. And in Meredith, there's the Belknap Family Health Center, which is located at 238 Daniel Webster Highway. What, about a 15 minute drive? To the Lakes Region General Hospital in Laconia, yes. Good to know. Okay. So if you are a golf enthusiast, you're in luck. There are many great golf courses around Lake Winnipesaukee. However, two of them happen to be in Meredith or nearby Meredith. The first one is a nine hole public course, very easy, very gentle, called Oak Hill Golf Course. The second one, on the other hand, is Walking One Golf Club in Center Harbor. It offers 18 holes, beautiful views, fully stocked uh, pro shop, driving range, practice greens, and a practice area. Uh, golf instructions are available, and it's also house of the Farmhouse Grill. How about that, Karina? Well, I have actually played a couple times there. It's a really nice place. Yeah, the time that I beat you? <laughs> I thought you did beat me. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's talk about uh, schools in Meredith. So Meredith has a well-regarded public school system. It's called the Interlakes School System, and of course, you have the elementary, middle, and high school. There are also four well-known private boarding schools within 20 to 30 minutes from Meredith. You have the Holderness School in, of course, Holderness, the Tilton School, where else but Tilton, 
the Brewster Academy, which is in Wolfboro, and of course, the New Hampton School, which is of course in New Hampton. Wow. <laughs> Very creative names. I would have names. thought it was in a different town. Very creative names, right? For those... Uh... Yes. <laughs> Although there are no colleges or universities located in Meredith, there is Plymouth State University. Where else but in Plymouth. How original. Yes. Uh, it's a 30-minute drive to the lakes or to Meredith. And the Lakes Region Community College in Belmont is about another 20 minutes away to the south. Yeah. So they got you covered there. Yeah, and great little place. Uh... My son uh, Alejandro went there for a couple classes. Did you go there? No. A couple? Okay. So Meredith has a great community center. It's located at one uh, Circle Drive. Uh, some of the interesting uh, offerings include an activity center multi-purpose floor, a basketball court, a tennis court, a main volleyball, and badminton courts. Who plays badminton these days? Well, I beat you last time. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I okay. did. 24 high by 20 foot wide climbing wall wow. and stage, game room with ping pong tables, pool tables, and other many table yeah. board games so and, for a oh, a and, and an arts and crafts room. So for a rainy day, they got you covered. Yes, it's a perfect place to go for a rainy day. Uh, there are many shops, of course, to visit in Meredith. Some of the ones that I've uh, been to, of course, are at Mill Falls Marketplace. And of course, you got Ben and Jerry's, which I love ice cream in my favorite flavor is coconut coconut yeah. uh, there's Lee's candy kitchen great northern trading company in wait, wait I was gonna say isn't the Innsfree bookstore uh, as well bookshop? Yeah, yeah. yes oh, yeah. why have you been there yeah I don't think so Fred uh, voila salon have you been there no <laughs> and the cozy uh, rustic yes cabins. cozy cabin rustics yes. yes all right cool Freddie what you got so other small town shops uh, around Meredith just to name a few is the New Hampshire gift uh, shop the little dog paper company League of New Hampshire at Craftsman and of course the Longview country store okay and of course uh, when you get hungry there's plenty of places to go in Meredith. Of course, there's Giuseppe's Pizzeria, which I love pizza, of course, who doesn't? Town Docks, a restaurant, which is right on the lake, right? Yes. And the tables are like picnic tables on, in, with a sand floor, yes, which no, is kind of cool. Don't forget about Lago. Well, Lago is our favorite place. Uh, what do we like there? The, the tuna tartare. The tuna tartare, I love the, tuna tartare. The flatbreads are pretty good as well. Yep. Church Landing, Church camp. Church Landing is great. Uh, that's managed by the common man, right? Yes. Very nice. Camp is also very nice. Yes. Oh, the Hermit Woods Winery and Deli. Yep, that's a pretty nice place. Your favorite diner. My favorite In diner, Meredith, at least. George's Diner. Yes. Uh, yeah, love that place. Lake House Grill. And lastly, if you are into Turkey, <laughs> you cannot miss Hearts <laughs> Turkey Farm. You mean if you're into Turkey? Yes. Okay, is that what you said? Turkey. Okay. So yeah, so if you love uh, Turkey, yeah. yeah. If you're into Turkey. What do you think I said? Into Turkey. Yeah. If you're into Turkey, <laughs> like, like meal, <laughs> yeah, not okay. the country. <laughs> And for your sweet tooth, we got a few more. Freddie, what do you yes, think? Yes, there's the main uh, cafe and creperie, uh, the Cider Bellies uh, Donuts, uh, very good. At Mellow Moose Coffee House? Yes, Water Street Cafe, or Waterfall Cafe, sorry. Water Street is actually in Laconia. And Lakeside Deli and Grill, which we already said, but it's so good that we'll say twice. Now, there's so many places to eat, uh, and Meredith has all these places, and a lot of people from around the lake go to Meredith because they have all these great options. Absolutely, yeah. So it's a it's a highly uh, regarded culinary uh, <laughs> destination around the lake. Let's talk about some of the best places to stay in Meredith. Of course, again, Mill Falls at the lake. Oh, the Ballard House Inn. The Ballard House Inn is very nice. Yes. The oh, Nutmeg Inn. That's that. Uh, have you stayed there, Kurt? No. Yeah. Okay. The Bear Tree Lodge. Yes. Uh, Tucker Nut Inn. Yeah, I actually know the owner. Okay. Nice guy, uh, fellow ex-realtor, good friend. Church Landing at Mill Falls. Probably the better one, the better big one, right? Well, I mean, I think, you know, they're all good depending on, you know, your budget, availability. You know, but Church book, Landing is... Book in advance. If you're coming to visit Meredith, book in but advance. Church, in the land, Church Landing has that lake feel, big Yes, place, that right? lodgy, uh, very vacation-y yeah. Check feel. it out. Yes, check it out, for sure. All right. And by the way, we're not sponsored by any of these places. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're not. Just so you know. We're, nobody's paying us. Yes, we're, we're not just, sponsored. Just so you know. Okay. Uh, unless they want to sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> Meredith has a few options to get your groceries. The main one is Hannaford, located on Route 25, is by far the largest and most varied in terms of offerings. 
in the town. And it has curbside pickup. Yeah, that's a new feature. Uh, that's, you Since know, COVID. And Actually, before COVID. Before COVID. And there is a second uh, option, which is the Lakes Region uh, Nutrition Center. And uh, it's on Main Street. It's a natural foods uh, grocery store. And it's uh, very popular. Very days. popular. Captain Fred, tell us about boat launching. So Meredith offers uh, several town docks uh, options uh, for launching boats, canoes, and kayaks. Uh, some docks require a fee, but if you're a resident, just show your Meredith uh, facility sticker. It's a $20 fee. So Karina, what are some of the options? Uh, well, there are basically three options. The Meredith town dock is probably the main one. Uh, it's located in downtown. Yes. Uh, first come, first serve, of course. Um, they have a boat ramp and there's a three hour docking limit. Three hour docking limit. Uh, and, and no overnight docking. Yes, very, very so what happens easy. if you do overnight docking? You know, I don't want to find out. <laughs> okay. I, I guess my, my- You get a knock from the- uh, I take it they, they will call you and ask, you know, to get to get remove the vessel from the, from the slip. Yeah. Or what's another one, Fred? So Shep Brown's uh, public uh, boat launch, it's located at the end of Lovejoy Sands Road. You know, great facility there, uh, very helpful people. Yeah, they are. Yes, and and that's smaller one. Walk you one uh, at beach, the Walk you one beach. Uh, yes, uh, the boat launch there. It's a free public boat launch. Uh, there's uh, picnic tables, public restrooms, and public restrooms. And of course, that's if you want to launch your boat on Lake Wakiwan. Yes, Wakiwan, not Winnipesaukee. So there's two for Winnipesaukee, one on Wakiwan. Fred, uh, Meredith has a great number of parks. Let's mention a few of them. Uh, Meredith uh, Community Park, it's located on Main Street and it offers uh, uh, concerts, craft fairs, and holiday events. Uh, there's a Hamlin Recreation and Conservation Area, which is a 310 acre park with trails for hiking, biking, snowshoeing, and cross country skiing. Which is your favorite, right? It is until I um, injured my ankle, but I'm gonna start doing it again this winter. Okay, so you also have a Heskey Park. It's a premier waterfront park that Meredith has. A Prescott Park, a beautiful playground, ball courts, batting cage, ice skating rink in the winter. Uh, you have a Swasi Park. Is it Swasi or Swayze Park? Swayze, Swasi, uh, Swagazi, Fugazi. No, it's, it's all the same. It's Swayze Park. Swayze Park. Swasi uh, Park. Seven acre uh, wooded park. Uh, it basically offers a quiet picnic area and a beautiful waterfront nature walk. So there are two main uh, great uh, beach options in the town of Meriden. That's right. Uh, Levitt Beach, uh, located off Route uh, 25, of course, and Levitt Park. A uh, playground, public canoe, and kayak launch, picnic area. Great, great beach. Yes. Sandy is super nice. And public restrooms are available. Yes, of course. So don't go pee in the water. Yes. Wakiwan Beach, uh, located on Lake Wakiwan. It's an open, free public boat launch with walking distance, public beach, uh, shower available as soon as weather allows. That's right. So another thing you should know about Meredith, and pretty much everywhere in New Hampshire, except if you're like really remote, You'll have uh, internet access. Uh, so in Meredith, you have four options. You have Atlantic Broadband, Fairpoint Communications, of course, Dish, and DirecTV. Yes, good old DirecTV, trusty DirecTV. Okay, so there are a lot of great things to do around the lake, but in Meredith, for example, these are some of the things that we have done and like to do. There is the uh, Winnipesaukee Scenic Railroad. It offers uh, two and four hour rides. They operate in the summer and in the fall they have the foliage tour. Hermit uh, Woods Winery, it's locally made wine, uh, great place to socialize. And they have a deli now. The Molten uh, Farm Stand, uh, great place to source uh, local, you know. Vegetables. Lo yeah, locally grown, harvested. And uh, uh, baked goods too. Yes, they have the uh, Interlake Summer Theater. Yep, great plays. Uh, during the summer. I don't think they had any this summer because of COVID or yes. I'm not sure. Uh, the Meredith Marina, uh, great marina. They have valet services. Right now I know they're pretty busy, but you know, you might be able to yeah, get on the Yeah, the lakes is super busy. Yes, uh, Twin Barns uh, Brewing. Uh, they have great chicken there. I love their chicken. And of course, they they serve these little four little beers or six little beers, delicious. Yes. The Meredith uh, Children's Museum, a uh, great place to visit with your kids on a rainy day. Yeah. Uh, Winnipesaukee Playhouse, you know, a nice spot to go catch, you know, play Cascade Spa. Uh, here's pretty good. Haven't been there, but I yes. want to go. And of course, last on the list where I beat you last time. No, you didn't. Uh, you know, I, you know, you, you crumbled. No, I did not. Uh, Pirates Cove Mini Golf. <laughs> Pirates Cove Mini Golf. Yes. 
notorious. Yeah, right? okay, yeah. you beat me. Yeah. Fine, okay, I, I admit it, okay. And there you have it, folks. The things you should know when you move to Meredith, New Hampshire. Thank you for that, Freddie. And my name is Karina Cisneros, associate broker. And this is my dear son and partner, realtor, managing partner of the Cisneros Realty Group. We live here, we work here, and we know real estate in the Lakes region. Please be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below so you won't miss any of our future videos. That's right. So come to New Hampshire. It's the perfect location to live, retire, and vacation. In New Hampshire, there is something for everyone. Until next time, guys. See you soon. See you soon.